Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Slay the Spire. I have a fresh, steaming hot cup of coffee. Oh, it's so good. We're gonna play the wa- uh, You know what, the daily was the same daily as we did yesterday, so we don't need to do the daily. We're gonna do a watcher run, because the past couple of, well, the defect has been hit or miss. Defect was real bad and then we had a really good run yesterday. Um, but the watcher, the one time I played the Watcher recently, we had a pretty decent run. Let's give it another shot. Let's try it. Transform, obtain 100 gold, rare colorless, open a, or sorry, obtain a random boss relic. A curse for a card is really not that bad, especially depending on what it is. Panache, violence, magnetism. Oof, this is not a very good set of cards. In fact, I would probably just prefer three combats with one HP. But violence is interesting because at the very least you can combo this into a lot of damage with eruption and strikes. And as a result, maybe this is the way we wanna be treating our starting run here. Now we're on A20, possibly going up against the heart. What is the optimal path for us? Three elites means burning elite at the end of the first floor. And to be honest with you, I think we could probably do it. I chose the wrong path. I, I meant to choose this one though. Hey, Nombi. Thank you for the resub. Hydrate, hey, I got uh, coffee. Is that good enough? Hmm. But I should have gone this path for the combat to get cards, um, but we will rest before the elite fight and then we'll fight more elites as we travel up. So unfortunately, um, we're gonna take some damage on turn one. Draw seven cards and don't have enough defense to do anything. Oh, hey, look, it's a bad eruption, so. God, I hate this. <laughs> next turn, next turn we could get um, four strikes, which is 48 damage. I think this guy has 49 block on this turn. How much block do you put up? Nine, yeah, okay, so we would have taken 24 damage had I done it in a different fashion, so I'm glad I didn't. Uh, we'll just defend again. This is a pretty, like, bad set of draw for the fight, but we're getting there, maybe? Um, you know what, I will do this because we have that, uh, that Vigilance coming up. So even if I can't kill you, I won't die. Although I kind of wish I was gonna die. No, we can hit the you here. Put up some block. He's doing 22 damage. I mean, I guess he is seven. We should have violenced. Yeah, we could have probably killed him. He is uh, 10 strength up and he's just getting stronger. This is one horrible fight for us, but like we just got the worst draw over and over again. Fear no evil, wheel kick tranquility. Give me a fear no evil, I like it. I like the combo potential. Uh, let's just heal, that's very useful. We do want to remove the curse. Oh. There you go. Unfortunately, we still have to go to the shop, but, you know. Uh, can't buy anything. What relics are we missing out on? Orange pellets? That's not that bad. We just have to keep in mind that we're never gonna be able to get that now. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, <sighs> violence, eruption, violence, vigilance, eruption, strike, defend. We can kill one and we'll take three damage. I think that's what you gotta do here. Keeps us in a, a good stance. Yeah, and if we get three strikes, you're dead. That's not too bad. We took very little damage to make that happen. Flurry of Blows is pretty good. Mm. With Fear No Evil and Eruption, I actually do kind of like it. And then we're gonna immediately upgrade that Eruption because we want to be able to draw that with uh, Violence. I wish that Violence didn't exhaust, but there's not much you can do about that, huh? <clears throat> Do you just, do you just go for it? <laughs> um, you know, there you go. I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna see what happens. This is 
honestly like not bad at all. Next turn is Vigilance. Um, you might as well just spend the energy on the block on this turn. We're taking 15, but Lagavulin is, you know, way more than half dead. Taking another seven. Again, it could be, could be a lot worse. Bag of prep, very useful. Uh, I don't know if we need a second flurry. I'd rather just have like an evaluate because it's a decent block. And honestly, because I'm not very confident, I'm just gonna go for an upgrade and then if we die, we'll get a, a better Niao choice because the uh, three, were, were they rare colorless? Yeah, the three rare colorlesses that we ended up getting were pretty trash. <laughs> not, not exactly what I was looking for anyways. So we'll just, um, Flurry, Vigilance. Twelve block. Probably didn't even need to fear no evil now that I, now that I think about it, because we ended up using it, the miracle just to get out of that, but anyways, they're all dead. Prostrate, Foresight, Simmering Fury. Not a big fan of Prostrate as my first mantra card. At the start of your turn, Scry could be pretty good though. It's a relatively weak power, but it is, it is okay. This seems like a great turn for like two flex potions. You might want to consider saving these for the, the next elite fight, but like if we could do this fight taking no damage, walking into the fight against the Gremlin Knob, we might prefer that, but you know, maybe we maybe we're okay taking a little bit of damage here to save both flex potions. Uh, you know what? We could probably use one. So let's use one. And then do we erupt? I think we can erupt first. Hold on, this is gonna do 22 damage. This will do 22 damage. So we have to spend two attacks to kill you or an eruption in an, in an attack. So give me an eruption. Strike. Flurry. Flurry. We'll take two. We could have gotten another kill had we used the other flex potion, but we still did you know, very well for ourselves. And then fear no evil is just a kill. Um, Right, we didn't draw because we were still in the, in the stance. I forgot about that. At the start of your turn, scry. Uh, I honestly think that's gonna be useless. No, it's not gonna be useless. I'll play it instead of the strike. What I'm thinking though is that um, it's not only gonna allow us to discard a defend, which I don't wanna discard this turn, and then it'll only be good for us if we don't just normally draw three strikes like f before this guy dies, but I guess it does allow us to purge the dazes, get to eruption. All right, it's pretty good. I'm overthinking it. Smiling mask, decent. Meditate, amazing. And conjure blade is good, but we don't have like an energy synergy, so I'm just gonna take the meditate, which you want. I'm not, I, have, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the deck. It's working so far, but I do like getting a free relic. Hopefully it's rare. It's not rare, it's common, but Happy Flower might as well be rare, it's that good. But we're gonna play Miracle. This is one heck of a turn, wow. This is a great turn. Flurry. Fear. Flurry. Eruption. Flurry. Strike. 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 What a great turn. We could have even stalled to get Happy Flower for the next combat, but oops. Uh, give me a empty body. More stance changers are good, and it's just another Log of Ulin fight. Dude, no problem at all with me on that one. I'll take a Log of Ulin. Now, please draw vid, uh, I was gonna say please draw violence, but we can guaranteed draw it next turn, which means we can open up with a great uh, flex potion slaughter. 
Well, it's not really going to do that much, is it? Because it's just going to draw a flurry and eruption. I still think you wait, though, unless you draw something good with insight. Phew, that's perfect. Okay, we're going to we're going to go on this turn. <laughs> and next turn we have vigilance and meditate. That's beautiful. Okay, flurry, eruption, flurry, strike, fear. Honestly, Logavillain could be dead next turn. I'll keep Meditate just in case we don't kill. Kind of glad I did in that case. So Strike, Defend, Defend, Meditate. He's dead. We took 10 damage. 10 damage on an elite fight? Who gives a damn? Uh, you healed. My bad. Matrushka, good for the next floor. Ragnarok, we don't have any strength gain, but it is still good. Swivel, eight block. Diamond Lord, Ragnarok. Ragnarok and roll. Um, 25, which is 50 in Wrath. I don't... I don't see it. Maybe a prostrate just for a little bit of block and then, you know, the possibility of mantra on like an elite fight or a, a boss fight even. But really, we're, we really, really, I just want a way, another way of entering Wrath. I think I'm gonna skip these. Because we want to enter Wrath because we have Flurry of Blows, we have that kind of combo going for us. So Meditate is uh, just extremely great. We'll upgrade this, because it'll pay for itself every turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can play Violence. I mean, I, I, I still like it. Almost uh, flipped the Guardian on the first turn. And then we'll bring back... I need that power that makes retain cards cheaper. But I guess we can bring back, like, Empty Body, Fear No Evil, because we, we're gonna be able to play these. Goodbye, Flurry. This is extremely good. Um, we'll actually open up with an Evaluate, I think. Now we should still open up with an Empty Body. Empty Body, Evaluate. Erupt. Strike. Give me a Fear No Evil and then I will just play Miracle Defend. We only take four. We did a lot of damage on that turn though. Okay, we need the defense. This is totally fine. I think you just defend. And then I will, um, I'll spend to do this. So we're gonna take three damage, not really that bad. We need attacks, because we can flip him on this turn, so. Flurry, eruption, flurry, strike. He's already flipping, so you might as well play Fear No Evil. Good turn. The ability to hold on to cards with insight, with meditate, means that we can pretty much guarantee that we, um, we'll always have the ability to hit him um, when we're able, pretty much. So I would like empty body, and honestly, just give me an evaluate. I'm just gonna defend next turn. Although that's a very good turn. Wow. And with Meditate, we can hold Eruption and Fear and Evil for the next turn again. This is a fantastic opportunity. Would love to draw Flurry, but maybe we, we prefer not to because of his thorns. Give me the insight. Ah, whatever. Ah, <laughs> eh, whatever. 
We are gonna take a little bit of damage. Hey, disposable, thank you. Money for coffee. Play Monster Train. I'll think about it. <laughs> thank you for supporting my, my habit. Let's draw. Yeah, we wanna get Flurry. An eruption, flurry, strike, strike. Fear no evil, flurry. Any attack will kill you. I'm very glad we decided not to rest. There was no reason, to, uh, we, I mean, we were, only had like 20 something HP, but ended up not being any reason to rest. And establishment is what we want with the miracle. That's a pretty good combo. Philosopher's Stone, Tiny House, Calling Bell. I hate it. Philosopher's Stone, what I don't like is the strength because we have no way of reducing strength from enemies. However, we do have Talk to the Hand and Wave of the Hand in the Watcher's deck. So we, we could, you know, weaken the heart, weaken elites, weaken bosses. We don't have them yet, but we can find them, hopefully. Um, but I do hate defect taking Philosopher's Stone, unless you're going orbs because, you know, you can't really weaken the heart as the defect. You have one card that applies weak in the entire um, defect deck, and only one other card that applies a status effect, and that's um, Lock-On. But with the Watcher, we could get around the the strength of the stone. Fredacula says, I promise you won't get birds first combat act two. We could get the birds. Calling Bell is interesting. The curse is not that bad. Um, but having four energy is really nice with the Meditate. Means we can play Meditate, Foresight, draw better cards, get into our combos a little bit more. Um, I think I'll take Philosopher's Stone. Four energy is really nice. The strength sucks, but it's only one. I'm gonna try for it. The, the heart is really the big problem, though. Like, we, we kind of need some way of dealing with the heart now. And I like this path. I like being able to fight two elites with lots of camps, upgrades. Um, we could go for the question mark heavy path here, though. Yeah, like, question mark, question mark question mark, question mark, question mark, or upgrade. No shops, so we're not gonna be able to remove any strikes it defends. If we go this path, we can get one early shop, possibly buy something, and then maybe fight um, two elites, but there's a second shop on the same path. I'm gonna go, um... I really like this path. I'm gonna go this path. There's a lot of combat, but I really do enjoy this path. And we have a good meditate opportunity, too. I think we just want to... Yeah, bring them both back. Establishment's really good with that meditate. Now, violence might allow us, with Flurry, might allow us to kill you. So I'm going to Violence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep. It, we're gonna get a lot of stuff added to our deck, but actually not that much, because a Vigilance Defend gets us to 12 block anyways. We really need like a talk to the hand, but anyways, give me an Eruption. Flurry, five energy, strike, strike, strike. Fear no evil. Flurry, Vigilance, Defend. Yeah, we only added three dazes, that's not that bad. There's no Foresight and also no attacks coming up. So we basically just have to survive two turns. Kind of annoying. Now you're doing 20 damage, okay. I mean, I'd rather you didn't. Get a Fire Potion, at least we used one. And a Crescendo. I have no other way of entering Wrath, so I think a Crescendo is totally fine. In the past, I have not valued that crescendo. I think that's that was a mistake. I mean, you're dead. 
That's why you love Wrath as the as the Watcher here. I don't think we need a second Crescendo. Rushdown is pretty good to draw cards when you enter Wrath. In theory, you might be able to go infinite off of this, although we have no capability of doing that right now. But it is very good, but so is a Protect. We have very few blocks. I think we'll take a Protect. With Establishment, this, would, this will eventually be free. Okay. I mean, I like the start of this. I'm not gonna play the Protect, I'll take three damage. The draw is whatever, but I really don't wanna expend my resources killing this guy. And Violence will get us Eruption so we can hold on a Crescendo. It'll draw one card, so let's play it. Get a Flurry. Strike, strike, strike. We do have to expend all of our energy to make it happen, but that's not that bad. Um, with Meditate coming up, we won't be Wrathed. And you're not even really doing anything. You're not even doing anything. So we'll just take, um, take an Eruption and a um, Fear No Evil. Now they're both free forever. I would love to draw an Insight. Well, I was hoping to draw the um, Flurry of Blows. Not drawing it is fine. But look at the amount of like cards we can play every turn now. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> There's Flurry of Blows. I'd, I'd like it in my hand. Technically, we could just um, discard it and draw it immediately off of the Eruption, though. Flurry, Sash, Cut Through Fate. With Foresight and Scry, you could just put Flurry of Blows in your discard pile and bring them back. Sash Whip being upgraded is really nice with the weakness. Yeah, give me a Sash Whip. Without a without a um, wave of the hand, I, I think we do need something that can apply weakness. So Violence will draw a lot of stuff. This is gonna be a, a, an expensive turn. So I think we'll Miracle. Didn't draw Eruption, which is unfortunate. But we can still Flurry. Fear. Flurry, Weaken. Doing 18 damage. Um, hate to say it, but I, th I mean, I think we're just gonna protect and meditate. Not a very fantastic turn for us. Taking six damage. Um, we'll dump the, dump the defend. We can dump the evaluate. We have, um, we don't need the insight. We have scrying. So eruption. Flurry, Sash Whip, he's weak for a long time. Strike. Flurry doesn't do anything, but you might as well play it. Protect will at least be cheaper. I don't think we're killing him next turn, but I do like this combo. Right, we didn't get the Flurry of Blows anymore, but that's okay. I could just ice him with a potion, but we can take, we can take three damage and save a potion. You'd be better off using it, I think, right? I'm just gonna use it. I don't think we had the kill with his armor gain. I'll take a cut through fate. The scry is pretty nice. And uh, I'm not gonna give you 300 gold, so hopefully I can kill pointy Romeo and Bear before they kill me. Uh, I might even just want to go, like, hyper-aggressive very early and try to draw something with Cut Through Fate. Fear No Evil is totally acceptable. So dump the strike. Now you're dead. We killed one. We are going to lose four decks, though. But we killed one of them.
Well, I mean, we're gonna take, we're gonna take damage. They should die, but we're gonna get hit. What do we have coming up? Establishment, Sash Whip, Flurry, Empty Bodies, and a Vigilance. So give me, um, give me Cut Through Fate. So we're taking 15 damage, which is not ideal. Violence will, well, if I discard a card, we're, we don't need violence. But you know what? If we discard two cards, we'll be able to draw with violence. There we go. So Flurry. Oh man, we're weak too. It's not fantastic. 714, okay, so Eruption. Flurry, cut through fate. I'll draw one of these and then we'll violence and then, oh hey look, it's many strikes. Could be better, could be worse, got the red mask. Flurry of blows, empty fist. I don't think we need an empty fist. What I need is another wrath enabler. The only thing I have is a crescendo, which exhaust and meditating back eruption. That's not what I'm looking for. But I think I will go for another flurry. I'm hoping that we can get a um, a talk to the hand though, but so far haven't been able to pick one up. I think I will go for establishment because protect and meditate would be really nice to get free cards out of. Let's fight the elite. I'll use a potion if I have to. Well, I'll use my only potion if I have to. Wow, you're just hitting real hard, huh? On the bright side, we put up a decent amount of block. Unfortunately, we killed nothing, so the gremlin leader is going to spawn, um, or not spawn, he's gonna buff on the next turn. What I don't like about this is that we have no like AOE at all in the deck. It's a bit of a problem. Might be able to get to the other flurry. We got to meditate though. Meditate is, is very good, very, very good. We will meditate back. Flurry's gonna discard, but give me eruption sash whip. What are you doing? Nothing. So fear no evil is good, even though it's not actually gonna apply, it's just an attack. We got a flurry, which is great. Flurry, eruption. Flurry, cut through fate. I will take another Flurry. Sash Whip, Fear No Evil, Strike, Vigilance, Flurry, Flurry. He's dead. So this was a great fight for us. We took a little bit of damage early, but uh, he's dead. There's nothing he can do. We really need like a talk to the hand or something, but you know, until it shows up, there's not much we can do except just hope. Halt, Wish, Collect. Ah. <sighs> We have no strength gain, so I do like a wish. There are some turns where we have a lot of energy and this is a good just dump card or bring back with meditate to make cheaper. Collect is also really nice, but energy is not a problem. Halt for the block is good, but I'm gonna take the wish. And I am gonna upgrade, cause I think 26 HP. Ah, uh, we can maybe rest here. Yeah, let's. Let's upgrade first. We might get a relic that makes the rest a little, little bit better. So give me, um, give me that wish bonus. Yeah, it is possible to get gold out of it too. Omomori is great. We don't really need Omomori and a blue candle though. Because if we take Omomori, we're not gonna get cursed, so we don't need blue candle. So this is a good Omomori sapphire key. And then, I will rest. I, I'd like to fight one more elite and survive it, so we'll try it. We have 400 gold, good time to go to the shop, I think. You are not attacking turn one, you do suck, but with the establishment we can make cards cheaper, in theory. 
I'm just gonna Vigilance to bank the energy and do more damage. It's not a very good Sneko fight, yet. Nineteen, huh? Well, that is just awful. So I think I'm gonna get plated armor. And end my turn. Just what what a what a horrible draw. What can I say? We're drawing a lot of cards every turn though, but I guess we took damage. So I, th I think we do want to crescendo. We're going to play Miracle. The flurries are going to be free. Then give me a strike, fear no evil, flurry flurry, empty body, flurry flurry. I, I barely cannot kill you, but you will die. <laughs> I have cards that can kill you next turn. So once we, once we got rid of that first turn draw, turns out the fight was pretty good. Battle him, add a smite. That's actually very good with establishment, and it does kind of save the our, our bad draw and our bad blocks. Deceive Reality is also great. I love both of those cards. We can take a Relic for free. Nunchuck is not bad. Energy is really not a problem at all. I love both of these Relics. Preserved Insect and Meat on the Bone are so good. Ideally, we won't need meat on the bone, though. I think you go Preserved Insect, Tantrum, and then maybe remove a card. Yeah. Dolly the Wish? I mean, let's see. Mirror the Wish. I don't think you need to Mirror the Wish. Battle Him is going to give us the offense we need over a, a boss fight. Wish for the play for the you know extra strength. It's too expensive of a card. Even playing it once is tricky. Like a, a second meditate would be better because with a meditate you can meditate back, meditate, always exit your stance and re-enter calm. It's going to be free with establishment. Meditate was probably a better choice. Even that even then, I still think you want preserved insect. I think we need another way of entering wrath. Gladair says Dolly the Eruption, which actually, if there was no Tantrum, I might consider, because I was actually thinking about that. We need another way of entering Wrath. This is how you do it. We have Flurries. But I think you just buy a Tantrum, which does synergize with the strength from uh, from Wish. And also, if we do get a Talk to the Hand, it's more block. <laughs> then I think we just remove a card. And then if we upgrade the... If we upgrade the um, battle him, then starting every combat, we're going to be able to uh, get a lot of free strikes, like this. I mean, I think you establishment. I think you battle him. I think you just defend and then meditate. At honestly, no. You you play at least one more card. Actually, meditate would be nice. I think maybe you just protect. It gets you the block you need. Yeah, and this is this is pretty good. Although we're not getting we're not gaining block unfortunately, but eruption. Man, we really just need like one talk to the hand in this deck. It would solve so many problems that we're having. Ten, six. 
Can't quite afford the wish, so just give me a give me a vigilance. Cause now we can kill you. I can't weaken you. Alright. I think that was okay. We get a regen potion. You know what? I like that because it means that um, we don't necessarily have to rest here. We might want to go with one more upgrade. And I got to admit, Perseverance is pretty damn good. The turn after you draw it, it's 10 block. I do also like Battle Him, which may be a little bit more important so we can get the, um, the offense rolling early. And now we can remove, you know, all of the strikes in our deck and be perfectly happy about things. So, gotta play it, gotta play it. I like the block in hand. And then I think you do Miracle because it meditates... This is a energy refund because we're gonna make something free. Yeah, I actually like this. Flurry. Eruption. Flurry. Miracle. Meditate. Bring back Eruption and Deceive Reality. All of a sudden, we've got free blocks, a free Eruption, five energy. Yeah, this is, this is extremely great. And with Empty Body, we can get those um, Flurry of Blows back over and over again. Verdaculous says, if I know Abe, he's hoping for three omnisciences. I don't think there's a build for the Watcher that is not made better from omniscience. I think omniscience is just incredibly amazing in every Watcher deck. <laughs> and yes, if you have like three of them, then an Alpha, Beta, Omega is totally viable. I love it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One flurry in the discard, that's fine. Erupt. Flurry. Smite. Might as well evaluate. Tantrum. Now we can empty body. You're living, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. We're actually taking... We're taking one damage. I I'm, I'm gonna take one damage. I'm gonna take one damage for the draw. I'm not gonna play safety to block one. And with Mercury Hourglass, I don't even need, need to kill the Torch Head. Two strikes will do it. And because this is very bad draw, I actually think we do just defend, defend, strike, strike. Because the Smite's gonna be free. He's gonna die to Mercury Hourglass. And then if we're lucky, maybe we can draw like a, a Wish on a turn when we don't need it. Didn't exactly work out, but that's fine. Fear no evil coming up means we can tantrum. That's good. You know what, we should have played one more card because we'll only draw four. But I guess we could always discard something if we don't want it. So we have Wish. This is actually perfect having this here. Um, if we wish, we could go for the strength or the gold. I don't think we need strength to kill the collector right now. So I'm gonna go for the gold. Hopefully that doesn't end up mattering. But what we have is still working fine. 96 damage! Well, there's my fear no evil. Please dump the tantrum. So Flurry. Perseverance is, ah, it's not that much block. We'll still be fine, I think. This is really good. Fear no evil. No, we need to smite, strike, fear, empty body, vigilance. We have a crescendo. We could pop crescendo as well to get ex even extra energy on this turn. I would like to play Vigilance, Empty Body, and Evaluate, but we're gonna also need to play the Protects and whatnot. Dun, 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 dun. 
Fallopede says, card making seems like by far the worst out of the archetypes. For the Watcher, I, um, I like Battle Him establishment. I will agree that it is slow, but if you have a very blocky defensive deck, it works very well. Unfortunately, we don't because we don't have Wave of the Hand or Talk to the Hand, but I'm hoping we can still draw those cards into the deck some at some point. Hey, Zero! Welcome and thank you very much for the resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope you're having a good time, a good day. And Fallopede, you have a good night. So I'm just, I'm looking at the turn because I, I'm calculating energy. I think we do want to play Crescendo though. So I think what we do is Fear No Evil, Flurry, Crescendo. It gives us a little bit of an energy refund. Actually, that gives us the energy refund that we need so we can actually end in calm. That's really good. So you're doing 48 damage. It's actually a lot of damage, but we are vulnerable on this turn, so we'll take seven. You're doing another 48. I kinda hate it. Like, I kind of really, really hate it. Because we, we can't put up enough block on this turn. Dude, this would be so much better if we actually had talk to the hand or wave of the hand. Well, maybe not wave of the hand, because I mean, we have weakness, but I have no way of really outputting a lot of block on a single turn. We've been focusing on, you know, bringing back cards, making things cheaper, but we don't have enough blocks. Blocks is what I need. So I think we have to draw. We didn't really get what we wanted. You're doing 36 damage. I mean, I, I can block for three. So I think we are toast about the only thing that we can do to get out of it is just like duplicate a smite. Don't think that's gonna be enough though. Well, it's a fun, a fun run, fun attempt. We just didn't have the offense that we needed to really punch through the, uh, or sorry, we didn't have the defense that we needed. Now, I hate to say it, yes, getting the strength would have been better. We, with wish, we would have won easily. We should have gone the strength. I really didn't think the boss was just gonna attack turn after turn for 48. It also, it's, it seemed like that's a lot of damage for the fight. I thought it normally did like 30 damage on, um, on its turns, not 40. Like, were we suscept were susceptible to the, Weakness or something? I mean, I know we have one Strength Philosopher's Stone, but that still seems like too much damage. Hmm. I really wanted to get the gold to make our, our Act 3 better, but we should have just gone for the Strength. I mean, this is the whole reason I, I took the card. Well, for the gold and the Strength. <laughs> but maybe the, uh, the Greed got us a little bit there. Still, good attempt, I think. 